We will be investigating this terrorist attack. And we already have some results. All the four perpetrators were directly involved who were gunning people down, killing people. They were found and apprehended. They tried to escape. They were moving towards border with Ukraine, and we have data that suggests that they were uh, about to be moved towards the territory of Ukraine by those in Ukraine. Our military services, our emergency services, everyone is, our investigators are working on finding out the orchestrators of this terrorist attack, those who gave them transportation, who uh, created who gave them weapons, etc. The investigative authorities will do everything to identify all details of this crime. But it's already evident that we face not, we face not just a uh, cynically organized terrorist attack, but a massive mass killing of civilians. These perpetrators, these criminals, went specifically to kill, to kill people, point blank, our people, our children, just like the Nazis that once killed our people during the war, they do the same. All the orchestrators, all those who are responsible for this crime will inevitably uh, be res found responsible. They will pay. We will identify everyone who stands behind this terrorist and they will pay. This is a strike against Russia. We know what terrorist threat means, and we expect that other nations that share our pain will cooperate with us and we will stand united against this common enemy, international terrorism, no matter where it uh, shows its ugly head. These terrorists have no nationality and there is only one future for them. Retribution and uh, oblivion. Our duty right now, our common duty right now, is to stand together, to stand united. And I believe this will. This we will stand together. Nobody can divide us, can undermine our common strength, the strength of Russia's nation, or so discord in our multinational society. Russia has faced a lot of challenges in its history, terrible challenges, but it always came out stronger, and this will be the same this time.